In this video, we'll share how to create a YouTube channel on your phone for beginners. This will cover everything from how to make a YouTube account to the key YouTube settings that you don't wanna miss. So here's everything you need to know. Now, at the time of recording this video, you actually can't create a YouTube channel on your phone using YouTube's apps. So they have a YouTube video player app, the main YouTube app, and they also have the YT Studio app. But in order to make a channel, you can still do it from your phone. You do need to do it through your web browser. So don't worry, you can do this from your phone. I'm gonna show you how. I'm also gonna be showing you this on an iPhone, but the process is exactly the same on Android too. So I've opened up the web browser. I wanna to head to youtube.com. What we wanna do here is we actually want the desktop version of the website. So on Safari here, I can press the little icon of the two A's down the bottom and I can choose request desktop website. So this way we're able to view this exactly the same as if we're on a desktop computer. Now, if say you're using the Chrome browser, then you'll just go to the website again. Then down the bottom right-hand corner where you've got the three little dots, we wanna press on that come down to request desktop site. Now from here, we can pinch to zoom in. We can come up to the top right and choose sign in because you will need to sign in with a Google or a Gmail account to be able to create a YouTube channel. So it's then going to prompt you to log into your account. Now, if you don't have a Google account or a Gmail account or anything at this point, then there is a button there on screen to create an account and you just go through, fill in your name and a few details and you have a Google account. Once you're signed in, you can see you've got your profile picture up in the top right hand corner here we're going to press on that and in here you're going to see one of two things you're either going to see an option at the top here to create a channel if your google account doesn't have a youtube channel associated with it at all yet in which case you're going to click that button create a channel now if you're seeing what i see where there is already a youtube channel created with this account but we want to make a new youtube channel then you'll need to scroll down here to settings you can then go over to add or manage YouTube channels. And then we have the option here to create a channel. So at this point we can add a channel name. So a good place to start could be even your own name. So I'm just gonna title this one here, Justin Brown. We need to check the box there and let's go create. And then it just takes a few seconds and the page will refresh here. And we've now got our YouTube channel created. Now what I'd suggest is that you follow the next few steps in terms of the channel setup here on the website as well. But some of these steps you actually can do in the YT Studio app now as well. But there's still not as many settings you get access to on there as you do on desktop or in the mobile browser version, which is what we're looking at. So we're gonna come over here to customize channel. Now this is prompting us to install the YT Studio app. I'm gonna go continue to studio, just so again, we're getting access to more settings. So we're here in our YouTube Studio dashboard area now. We are on the customization tab, which is down the side here. And this is where we can adjust some settings and things for our channel. So in here, first off, let's come over to the basic info section on our channel. This is where again, we've added our YouTube channel name and you can change this afterwards. You can change your channel twice in a 14 day period. Scrolling down, we can create or edit our YouTube channel handle here as well. This becomes your YouTube channel URL, your YouTube channel link. So you can see we've got youtube.com forward slash at Justin Brown dash, and then some random numbers and letters. We can customize that up here. So let's tap on this. Let's type in Justin Brown test account. It does have to be something unique that no one else has. Let's choose done and that's all good there. We can then add a YouTube channel description. So this is what will appear on the about page of your YouTube channel. So here it's a good idea to add a couple of different sentences as to what your channel is about, why people should consider subscribing, and obviously the types of content you're gonna release on your channel. We can also add our YouTube channel links in here as well. So if you wanna link off to your website or your social media profiles, so you can go ahead and add your links in there. It's also a good idea then down the bottom here to add an email address so that brands and companies and people that might wanna work with you can reach out and connect. Now, once you've got that information in, you wanna come back up the top here to this tab that says branding. So this is where we can go ahead and upload our profile picture. So I'm gonna choose upload. I'm gonna pick one from the photo library. Likewise, you can do your channel banner image from here as well. Now, if you don't have a banner image created yet, I've got a tutorial linked down below to help you make one, but I've got mine here on the phone. So I'm gonna upload that one. 
So we can see that that's added in there now, we choose done. And this last one here, video watermark, it's a nice to have, it's definitely not required. And if you wanna learn again, how you can make your own very, very simple, I've got a tutorial to help you linked in the description box below. But those are the key ones that you wanna do in terms of channel setup here. So we now wanna go publish to make sure that those settings have been applied. Again, it may take a few seconds to process those changes. So if we come back up the top here, let's go to view channel and we can see that those changes have now been applied. We've got the profile picture. We've got the channel banner image in there as well. We've also got our channel link and we've also got our Instagram link in this case here too. Now there's one more really important thing you wanna do when you're setting up your channel and that's verify your channel. So let's go back to our channel setup area. So again, we can hit this customize channel button here or if you're somewhere else on YouTube and you wanna find this place, we come up to your profile picture. Let's come down to create a studio. Then on the left-hand side, we've got all of our different options here. So the little magic wand is that customization area, which is where we just were. But where we're gonna go now is to the little settings button down the bottom left hand corner. And these are your YouTube channel setting. Now in here we can do things like set our default currency for our channel. We leave ours on US dollars. Then we come down here to channel and in here we can specify our country. So I've got Australia picked here. We can then add in some channel keywords or key phrases related to our channel. So I would add in here my name. Now I wanna put a comma at the end and that's gonna lock that off as a tag. So I'd go primal video. And then we'd add some in about the types of content. So I would have in here things like filming on iPhone, filming on Android. So we're really just using these to describe our channel and the types of content that it has. Now don't forget to hit save down the bottom when you're done. From there though, we wanna come over to advanced settings and this is where you'll need to specify whether the content you're creating on your channel here is made for kids or not. So we can say, yes, this channel is made for kids. I always upload content that is made for children. There is no set this channel to not made for kids. I never upload content that is made for children. Or you can actually specify that you will manually pick each time you upload a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick no for this one. But the feature that we're really in this area for is over here under feature eligibility. And this is where we need to verify our YouTube channel. So we can see that we currently have standard features are enabled just from going through the process of creating a YouTube channel. The next one though, level two of verification, this will allow us to have videos over 15 minutes minutes to do things like upload custom thumbnail images and even unlock live streaming. So to do this, we wanna press the little drop down arrow there and it says that we need to verify by adding a phone number. So if we press on this, all we need to do is enter our phone number and choose whether we wanna have a text message verification or Google to actually call you with an automated voice message. You'll then enter that code in the box and your channel will then be verified. But it is worth noting that your mobile number can only be verified with two channels in a 12 month period. So that'll unlock the tier two of verification. Then below that is the third tier. Now this one isn't as important and can be done a little bit later on. It is good to do at some point though. So it says here that this will let you appeal content ID claims, create more live streams, upload more daily videos, create more shorts daily, embed your live streams on other places outside of YouTube, have external links in your video descriptions. And once you reach the point where you can monetize, you will need to be verified through this third level of verification to be able to apply. So the first one, video verification, this is where you'll literally follow the process. It's gonna get you to look at your phone camera to prove that you are a real person. So it's verifying that you're human. The second option is to provide a valid form of identification. So again, they can prove that you're real. Or the third one is more automatic, meaning that you don't need to do anything upfront, but over time, after a couple of months of you creating videos on YouTube, they'll have enough data and information that you are real, that they'll verify the channel that way too. And now that your YouTube channel is created, this is where you can go ahead and install the YouTube mobile app, where you can create content from within the app, you can upload it and go live and do all of that stuff, but also install the YT Studio app. So this is gonna give you access to a lot of the settings that you get access to on desktop, not all of them, but a lot of them, and help you run and manage your YouTube channel from your phone. So you can see here we've got our dashboard, we can access all of our content in here as well. We've got our analytics access to comments, and up in the top right-hand corner, if we hit our profile picture here, we can choose edit. And we can do things like adjust our channel banner image, our profile picture, 
our YouTube handle, and even our YouTube description in here now as well. So they are moving a lot of the settings and things from the desktop and the mobile web browser version over into this app too, but they don't have all of them there yet. So now that you've got your YouTube channel created, if you wanna learn how you can grow to a thousand subscribers fast, check out the video that's linked on screen. And as always, down in the description box below, we have a ton of other links and resources to help you even further. I'll see you in the next video.